Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Tetris 99. Last time I showed you that I found a lucky feather. Remember, it's green. But I thought it'd make me lucky, but it didn't. But maybe it'll go differently in team mode. And if it doesn't, I'll try a password match. And if that doesn't work, I'll try a password match in team mode. You can't just, you can't just instantly drop your pieces. You have to be able to look at where it's going to fall first. That way you know where it's going to go. Rather than just misplacing them every time. If we can do private lobbies in this game, why can't we do private lobbies in Super Mario Bros. 35? It would make more sense if we could. The game, it speeds up automatically when you play in team mode. I got a KO. Of course I wasn't just going to place the piece. There's still more than 10 players. See, there's still more than 10. I got in 14th place. You see, you want to be on a team that's made of mostly real players. If your team is mostly made of COPs, you've got a disadvantage. Because usually players are better than COPs. Playing our match. If I end up on the largest team, it's probably made up mostly CUPs. Maybe the smallest team is the one I want to be on. Please tell me I'm not on the largest team. No, I'm on the smallest team.
there's this thing called, there's this mode called Tetris Invictus, but you have to win. And, but you have to win a normal match of, um, of Tetris 99 before you can play it. You'll go up against a lot of other winners. And, uh, 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 and there are still so many people. Well, that's it for this episode of Tetris 99. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.